Hi. So today my students and I reviewed some basic terms when it comes to describing time. And we learned about what a clock means, quarter and half past. So quarter past and half past are ways to describe the time. Um, when you're talking about something in the minutes and a clock is when the minutes are at zero and it's just a full hour has elapsed. So let's start with a clock. Now a clock happens when the last, when the minutes are at the 12 hand or at the zero. For example, if I had 8 p.m. or 8 a.m., um, it doesn't matter if it's a.m. or p.m., I would say in words, 8 o'clock. Um, same thing if I had 12 a.m., let's say, but it doesn't matter. I would say 12 o'clock. So that's how you'd use eight. Uh, the word o'clock, it's pretty straightforward. As for the quarter pass and half pass terms, they're a little more complicated. So first of all, let's just review what a quarter and a half is. So a quarter is whenever you divide something by four, a quarter is one part of that. So for example, if I had this pizza and I had four friends, I had three other friends, so four people in total would be eating the pizza, I would cut it into four slices and I would get one slice, which is a quarter. So I'd be getting a quarter of the pizza, and my friends would all be getting a quarter of the pizza each also. So the way we use a quarter when it comes to telling time is when we have, um, for example, 8.15. Now, as you probably know, there are 60 minutes in an hour, and 15 is one quarter of 60. As if we divide 60 by 4, we will get 15. That is, so 15 is one quarter. So if we were to look at the circle to represent it, this whole pizza would be 60, and each part would equal 15. For example, if we had two parts, if we were eating two parts of the pizza, we would be eating something equivalent to 30. If we were eating all four parts, we would be eating the whole 60. Now, the way you would say um, 8, eight uh, hours and 15 minutes. We don't really like to say like, say it like that. So we would say eight, um, we would say half past, no, quarter past eight, sorry. Quarter past eight. So that really signifies that um, it is after eight because past eight and that it is a quarter after eight, p.m. or a.m., it does not matter. So when you say, when you hear someone say a quarter past eight, you know that you basically have to add a quarter of an hour or 15 minutes to the hour sign. And in this case, it's eight. So you would just add 15 minutes to eight o'clock, which gets you 8.15 or a quarter past eight. Now let's go to the half past um, term. And this is used very similarly to a quarter, but instead of one quarter, we're using two. And two quarters equals a half. So if you look at the pizza I have here, this time I'm really hungry and I only have one friend to share the pizza with. So we're going to divide the pizza not into four, but into two. And each and um, each part is called a half. Two halves make a whole. As we said before, there are 60 minutes in an hour. So if we have, if we need to divide those 60 minutes into halves or into two, we would get 30. That means that e, um, that means that one half in an hour is equal to 30 minutes. So whenever I am saying, for example, I have 8.30, it would be half past eight. This is because we are adding a half of an hour or 30 minutes to eight o'clock. Um, these are how these three terms work. And it's very important to use them when telling time because it's very awkward to say eight hours and zero minutes or six hours and 30 minutes. This is a much more elegant way to say it and you're going to hear it a lot. That's it. Thank you.